Bentley Batur Bugatti Mistral Koenigsegg CC850. Bentley this week presented the Batur, a limited production coupe based on the platform of the Continental GT. The Batur serves as a send-off for Bentley's W12 engine and also introduces new design themes destined for the brand's electric vehicles. Bugatti Mistral Bugatti also presented a limited production model, this time a roadster based on the Chiron platform, called the Mistral. The car is limited to 99 units and marks the end of the road for Bugatti's W16 engine. Koenigsegg CC850 Koenigsegg presented the CC850 this week to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the automaker's first car. The CC8S. It's not the fastest of the Swedish brand's hypercars. But it still stands out due to its automatic transmission that can transform into a manual complete with a clutch pedal. McLaren Solus GT McLaren unveiled a wild track car called the Solus GT. It features a design that closely matches a McLaren concept car designed in 2017 for the Gran Turismo video game series. And just 25 examples are destined to be built. Aston Martin the fifth 12 Vantage Roadster Aston Martin in March unveiled a new V12 Vantage and confirmed it is the last Vantage to be fitted with a V12 engine. Just 333 examples were made available to the public. But Aston Martin has now added a convertible option with its own run of 249 examples. 2025 Cadillac Celestique Spy Shots Photo Credit S. Baldauf. SB Median The 2025 Cadillac Celestique flagship EV was spotted testing on public roads in prototype form. The early test car looks nearly identical to the concept shown in July. But there are a few new details added for production. 2024 Kia EV9 undergoes final testing The 2024 Kia EV9 is also out testing. The electric SUV will be the new flagship for Kia. And the covers will come off early in the new year. Audi F1 show car for F1 2026 announcement and finally. Audi this week confirmed it will enter Formula 1. And we got a mock-up of what an Audi F1 car might look like. The automaker's first season will be 2026 when new power unit rules are due to be introduced. Reposted from SourceMotorAuthority.com